It's 5 in 10 from Skywatch TV for Monday, July 31st, 2023. I'm Derek Gilbert. We're back after a week away. We sort of had a week off. Uh, Learn something very important that uh, before we take a week away from this program, to make the announcement on the Friday before at the beginning of the program instead of at the end. Um, I, I get it. I get it. Once you get past the news section there and the boilerplate at the end... It, Okay, so from now on, whenever we're going to take some time off, I'll warn you at the beginning of the previous program instead of at the end. Last week, spent two days at uh, Morningside, recorded some programs with uh, Jim Baker for upcoming episodes of The Jim Baker Show, recorded for a future Skywatch Films documentary, and then two days away at a, uh, the Go Therefore conference in uh, Dayton, Ohio. So with all of that going on last week, Joe Horn very graciously allowed me to take the time away from uh, 5 and 10. But uh, we are back, and there is so much to talk about. Topic number 5 today, Chinese lab in California. What is going on in Fresno County? In a legal laboratory, in a dirty warehouse, discovered by a city inspector, a code compliance inspector, who noticed a hose coming out of a building that was supposed to be empty warehouse storage, just, you know, stuff that nobody wanted. So following the clue into the lab, found a uh, an illegal laboratory This is in Reedley, California, about 20 miles southeast of Fresno. Local, state, and federal investigators, all part of this uh, ongoing investigation. Uh, Usually when you hear the phrase illegal lab, you think it, lab that is, you think it has something to do with meth or crack or something. But in this case, no, this was a black market type of laboratory uh, testing and experimenting with multiple infectious diseases like coronavirus, HIV, hepatitis, herpes. According to one local official, there were over 800 different chemicals on site in different bottles of different acids. Unfortunately, a lot of them were not labeled. They're being categorized as unknown chemicals. Officials also found about 1,000 laboratory mice, 200 of which were dead, a bunch of lab rats as well. When federal agents tried to track down the owner of the building and the equipment, they discovered it belonged to a company called Prestige Biotech. So they called the owner of Prestige Biotech, one Shuquin Yao. He said the equipment belonged to a defunct company called Universal Meditech. And Prestige Biotech had taken possession of it after a creditor declared bankruptcy. However, all of the addresses provided for Prestige Biotech tracked down to empty buildings and unverifiable addresses in China. On top of that, the equipment wasn't just thrown in the building for storage. There were active experiments taking place. Hundreds of live rats still in the middle of ongoing experiments with thousands of samples of blood and tissue. This is like something from a horrible Stephen King (laughs) novel or or movie. And, And again, this was a warehouse, not a laboratory with BSL-2, 3, or 4 containment security, so obviously containing these pathogens was not a priority. The biological materials, thankfully, have all been destroyed. It's unknown what the purpose of the experiments was, but given the building in which they were doing it, we're guessing that they weren't looking for cures. Hmm. We'll keep an eye on the story for future developments. Topic number four, special rules for special people. Journalist Jordan Schachtel, who publishes at The Dossier, that's a Substack blog, he acquired a new Department of Defense memo that goes into great detail on the topic of care of service members who identify as transgender. It's a 34-page memo, and it spells out all of the special treatment benefits that accrue to members of the military when they identify as transgender. For example, taxpayer-funded care Care for transgender service members includes speech and voice therapy, cross-sex hormones, laser hair removal, voice feminization surgery. They thin the vocal cords, so don't voice doesn't sound as deep. Facial contouring, body contouring, breast and chest surgery, or what they call upper surgery. Genital mutilation surgery, or what's euphemistically, euphemistically referred to as lower or bottom surgery. And psychological counseling, all paid for by the military which means paid for by the American taxpayer. Secondly, service members who identify transgender may receive a waiver for grooming and uniform standards. Three, service members who identify as transgender may receive an indefinite waiver for physical fitness standards. This becomes a de facto permanent situation since they can reapply for the waiver every uh, six months. They never have to worry about physical training again. 
Fourth, service members who identify as transgender will be considered non-deployable for up to 300 days while taking hormones for their transition period. But given that these hormones are required for life, they effectively become undeployable. Which means, begs the question, what good are they to the military at that point? What's going on in the military right now is its greatest recruitment crisis in its history since 1973 when the military switched to an all-volunteer force. But as this defense memo makes clear, the United States military, 50 years into its volunteer service, represents more of a social welfare and social justice program than a, a force trained and prepared to fight an enemy. Topic number three, net zero versus trees. This blew my mind learning this last week. Almost 16 million trees have been chopped down on publicly owned land in Scotland to make room for wind farms. You see, in the drive toward net zero, in the minds of green cultists, and make no mistake, climate change alarmism is a cult, they're chopping down trees at an astonishing rate, an average of 1,700 a day in Scotland, apparently. Mari Gaugen, the Rural Affairs Secretary, estimated 15.7 million trees, <laughs> I'd say ad admitted instead of estimated, 15.7 million trees have been cut down in Scotland since the year 2000. That's the equivalent of about 1,700 a day. But she insisted there was a planning presumption in favor of protecting woodland, and wind farm developers would be expected to undertake compensatory planting elsewhere. But a Tory MSP, MSP, member of Scottish Parliament, Liam Kerr, said the public would be astonished at the total and added that uh, the bar that the wind farm developers have to meet is so low that it's almost impossible for them not to meet it. Scotland already has turbines theoretically capable of producing about 8 gigawatts of power, but the Scottish National Party, the SNP, wants to double that, which means... Another 16 million. Just update the lyrics, that old song. Oops, there goes another rubber tree plant. A uh, conservation charity called the John Muir Trust has warned the new threshold would allow wind farm companies to basically clear-cut large swaths of publicly owned land in Scotland, all in the interest of green energy. Topic number two, Trump and the aliens. This story was reported by NBC News, so it's not like this is coming from some fringe website. A former Israeli space security chief has claimed that Earthlings have been in contact with extraterrestrials from a galactic federation. According to the former head of Israel's Defense Ministry's space directorate, uh, Chaim Eshed, the unidentified flying objects have asked not to publish that they are here. Humanity is not ready yet. He also said that President Trump was aware of this contact, wanted to disclose it to humanity, but was asked not to to prevent a panic. This interview ran a week ago in an Israeli newspaper. Last week, the Jerusalem Post made headlines when they published part of it in English. Um, according to shed, these aliens are curious about humanity, seeking to understand the fabric of the universe, and that cooperation agreements have been signed between species, including an underground base in the depths of Mars, where there are American astronauts and alien representatives. Now, this kind of disclosure is not new. It's interesting that it's coming now as we're hearing about the uh, congressional UFO hearings. My take on, on this all is that when you listen carefully to what these so-called whistleblowers are saying, they're not really saying what it's being represented that they're saying. Say, so, yes, we recovered non-human biologics from the crashed aircraft. Okay, what? Monkeys? Dogs? Didn't say extraterrestrial. And none of these guys have personal knowledge of what has transpired. It's like, I heard from a guy who heard from a guy. And notice that all of these so-called whistleblowers, as always, are connected to the military intelligence complex. They are, as always, since 1947, controlling the narrative. And this is not really new. Edgar Mitchell, as Josh Peck and I wrote in our book, The Day the Earth Stands Still, Edgar Mitchell, the sixth man to walk on the moon, made contact with Hillary Clinton's campaign manager, John Podesta, an official in the Obama White House, trying to set a meeting with then-President Obama to tell him about the aliens from a contiguous universe that wanted to make contact with us to help humanity to avoid nuclear Armageddon. This just begs all kinds of questions. Number one, if they're so technologically advanced, can't they use a webcam? I mean, why can't they signal us somehow? Flash a laser, Morse code, use Skype, Zoom, whatever. 
But no, it's always telepathic communications, which means spiritual. This means it's interdimensional, not interstellar. Secondly, why do they always contact individuals instead of government leaders? People could actually make some decisions on behalf of humanity. And thirdly, if they're really here to help us, why are they waiting? What's taking so long? It's a psyop, and it's not from God. Coming up, crooks are stupid, and it's good that they are. I'll explain next on 5 and 10. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we want to make sure you know how you can get your copy of this incredible new book in the John Clash Special Offer. When you order the John Clash Special Offer, you'll receive his brand new book, The Law of Attraction, A Gateway Drug to Spiritual Heroin. This phenomenal new work challenges the very validity of the dangerous Luciferian, heavily popularized ideology that false teachers and gurus describe as the law of attraction. In this book, John also uses a solid biblical framework to debunk the so-called scientific selling points that the law of attraction is predicated on. But that's not all. You'll also receive the amazing DVD, Beyond Supernatural, that features off-the-record interviews with popular former New Age author and speaker Stephen Bancars, where he details his long history and involvement with the New Age and shares his personal testimony of deliverance through Jesus Christ. And as a bonus, this DVD also includes the entire original Skywatch TV five-part series on the second coming of the New Age. Also included in this must-have special offer, the two-part DVD, Occultianity, how the End Times Church is forming now in preparation of Antichrist, where Donna Howell and Allie Anderson walk you step-by-step -step through how a silent, complacent church is inadvertently laying the foundation for the bloodiest cult that the world has ever seen. All of these items hold a retail value of $75, yours now for your donation of only $35 plus shipping and handling, so don't delay. You can scan the QR code on your screen using the camera app on your phone for instant access to this special offer. You can also visit us at skywatchtvstore.com or call 1-844-750-4985 and ask for the John Clash special offer right now. Item number one today, crooks are stupid. Example number 1,847, an Ohio man is under arrest as officers responded in the town of Huron, Ohio. Last Thursday, early in the morning, they responded to an alarm at the Vacation Land Federal Credit Union. They, they heard noises on the roof, but not above the credit union. It was above the drive through specifically right next to the uh, little unit there where you put the thing in the tube to send inside for your deposit or withdrawal or whatever. Moments later, according to a body cam video shot by one of the officers, a uh, trap door or hatch swung open. Moments later, the would-be robber dropped down through the roof into what he thought was the bank vault. It turned out instead to be a recycling bin put next to the drive through uh, Officers were on the scene within moments a uh, 27-year-old suspect taken to jail where he's being held on $50,000 bond. What did we learn here today, friends? Well, if you find yourself in a trash can surrounded by gun-wielding officers of the law, you might take a moment to just rethink the life choices that led you to that situation. Crooks are stupid. Well, this week on Skywatch TV, we continue our discussion with John Clash about the law of attraction, this idea that comes straight out of the New Age movement that somehow you can change your reality just by thinking about it in the right way. Mind over matter. Now look, we know mental attitude, a positive mental attitude, does have some beneficial health effects, but when you take it to an extreme and believe that you can literally change reality, well, that's sorcery. And that is not, that is not Christian. That is not of God. In fact, he warned Moses to tell the Israelites, don't do this. John Clash, author of the new book, The Law of Attraction, is our guest on Skywatch TV this week with Joe Horn and the Skywatch investigative team. Our broadcast schedule is posted online. You can find out where to watch us over the air at skywatchtv.com slash channels. You can watch the program right now at our website, skywatchtv.com, or 
Roku or Apple TV if you've got the Skywatch TV app for your set-top box, or you can go online to our YouTube or Rumble channels right here, but better yet, download our free app. Our app brings all of our video content right to you. Skywatch TV, Simply His, the women's program that's been canceled by YouTube for some reason. They still don't know why. Uh, these daily news updates and more, we will not be canceled from our own app. So get the app, bring it into your phone or tablet, whether it's iOS, Android, or Amazon Kindle Fire. We've got apps for all of those. Links to their app stores to make it easy for you. Posted at skywatchtv.com. Thank you for watching as we keep watch. I'm Derek Gilbert, and this is 5 in 10 from Skywatch TV.